How are you, Marty? Yeah, not too bad. Nice. So, um, could you give us a brief history of your band and your releases? Yeah, no problem. Uh, so, Maverick, uh, we released our first track in January uh, last year. Um, prior to that, the boys, uh, as we are now, we've probably been playing together since April of 2016, I think, something like that. So, nearly a year we've been playing before we released anything. Um, and then we released... Um, Wayward, so we did kind of like a two-track as our first release, which was Wayward and True Grit. And then we uh, released a single, um, Infinite, which came out in August, I believe, last year. Yeah. And then in September, we went over to Thailand to record our EP, uh, State of Mind, which is cool. So. Yeah, so how did you come up um, with your band name and your EP name? So the band name actually came from, um, I was reading the Richard Branson um, autobiography, and he um, he described his business style as, as a maverick uh, business style, something like that. And that kind of stuck with me, I guess, and, and thought that could be a cool band name. Oh, Later cool. to find out, I mean, there is a lot of band names, bands called Mavericks out there, or similar <laughs> too, but uh, it's okay. We're making it work. Oh, that's sick. So what was the first band who made you love music and get into writing music? Um, hmm. I think, um, I mean... I remember being a little boy and my dad driving around, like with my dad driving around, we'd always be listening to like Metallica and stuff. He was in those bands and I think that was kind of my first intro into heavier music. Then I, um, maybe in primary school age, would have got into like Lincoln Park and, and Blink-182. Oh, of kind of fell through that. And then, yeah, when, when I got to just starting high school, got into Parkway, and so went down the heavier route there. Oh, that's um, awesome. But yeah, so it, it's been good. Always kind of had music around. Oh, that's sick. So... What inspires you to make music now? Like, what are your influences? Um, hmm. I think um, the power that music actually has is one of my biggest reasons for doing it. I know it would probably be different for, for everyone in the band. I mean, the boys who are writing um, the instrumentals, like, obviously, um, would have a different perspective. But for, for me, anyway, um, doing, doing the lyrics and stuff, I just love the idea that you can really push a strong message and and really uh, energize people and, and give them something to kind of grab onto and believe in. I know that that's what music's effect has been on me for a long time. So to be able to, I guess, replicate that is something that, yeah, really, really motivates me to, to write better music. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I love hearing about those influences as well. So um, what are the most important things you've learned while being together as a band in Maverick? Um, I think um, the importance of... Uh, I always forget. Um, uh, mom, 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 mom. <sighs> and then I lost it. Uh, I guess so. Prior to prior to Maverick, I've always done uh, kind of visual art type stuff, and now to come into a project where five five minds are working on the on one big goal, um, it's all about kind of working together using each other's strengths. You know what I mean? And, and being able to work as a unit to come up with stuff because it's so easy to start pointing yeah. fingers and, and fall apart that way and you see a lot of habits to a lot of bands because it is a hard environment to work in. But yeah, it's kind of com compromise. Sorry, is what I was looking for before. Compromise is the biggest thing. And yeah, just, sure, sure. you know what I mean? Ha having having a, a unified end goal and, um, and, and aiming for that is, is, I think, the most important thing I've learned from it. Oh, that's sick. So like, how does it feel being in a band as opposed to when you started? Um, honestly, no, like, it, it's funny, you get to a point where, I mean, a year ago we were talking about where we might be, and, um, and now I feel like we've, we've kind of got to that point, and now obviously the goals change, but, um, it, it's all about baby steps, I think, that's, that's what it is, like, you think about what goal is going to make this band, like, good, you obviously have your long-term goals, but just picking up those little things as you go is great, and now, I mean, I definitely feel like in a year we've come so much, so, so far. Um, playing consistent shows and having a proper release out and it's just yeah a, a year ago was something that we wanted you know yeah, that awesome. point and, and you know like a year we'll get to the next stage with it so oh, that's awesome so I'll just ask you questions about your EP State of Mind now so yeah. could you explain what goes on during the writing and recording processes of the EP um, so we we jam write a lot of our stuff but lyrically I'll write um, outside of that, I'll write with with uh, with a rough idea of song structure and stuff. Yeah, we're lucky after we jam right. Um, our guitarist, who, who's kind of um, 
learning to produce quite well. Um, we, we then take tracks to there and then we, we edit um, our songs even before hitting the producer. So it's a nice to get songs as far as possible for, yeah. before. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's good then. It's a good way to do it. Um, what inspired State of Mind? As an EP as a whole. As an EP as um, like lyrics. Yeah, and okay. Music. So, um, State of Mind, I guess this band has always had somewhat of a quite like a a positive message when it comes to wanting to do State of Mind to me was um, creating a body of work, I guess, that did explore the vulnerabilities and uh, weaknesses that chasing sort of certain things can bring, but the overall feeling of kind of of the chase and then accomplishing uh, something is really what inspired the EP. Um, then the concept of the hoodie, which I'm sure, I mean, if you've seen our visuals, like yeah, red is everything, it's basically just this uh, th- this idea that adopting that red color or the red hoodie is about kind of taking on that state of mind mentality and then making those strong, positive, confident changes. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know about that red hoodie. It's good to know that motif. Oh, that's awesome then. So, what does this release mean to you? Um, this release actually means a lot. I, we picked up our physical copies the other day, awesome. and yeah, it was it was crazy to to hold it in in our hands. I mean, for years we've kind of wanted to get a release out there, and now to feel like we've we've done something that we can all be um, pretty proud of. You know, like we're all pretty happy with with how the songs turned out, and yeah, it, it definitely means a lot to to have been able to accomplish something that I mean, a few years back definitely didn't seem like an option for me. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, I saw you at um, Sporting Hellions and... Um, okay, yeah, Vlog it out, I guess, yeah. I'll, I'll just wrap it up with one last question. So, um, yeah. what advice would you give for new bands starting up? The main product that you have is your music. So, work really, really hard on that for everything. And then, you know, like, that, that that's the biggest thing is your music. That's your product. That's your selling tool. And then after that, I think um, be strong with your branding as well. Um, really really know who you are and what message you're pushing and, and, and I think being yourself and true to whatever it is that you are is the best way to get that across. That's what people want to say and that's, that's how people will believe in something is they, is they feel it's real. So. Yeah, of course, that makes sense. That's awesome then. Thanks for chatting with Behind the Scene. We'll see you soon.